Owing to Sauron's blessing, you may not dive into deep water and stay submerged indefi indefinitely. Underwater settlements like Tamamizu and the Sui no Sato can be accessed via circular portals. To leave deep water, you only need to swim towards the surface. Conversely, to dive into deep water while swimming on the surface, press Ctrl plus the spacebar. Should you become separated from your steed, speak with Sauron and Tamamizu to mount the Stripe Ray. Ooh, swimming and diving. You and all your flying mounts have received the Kojin's Tribe's ancient blessing. You can now breathe underwater indefinitely. To dive, you must first be swimming in a body of water that allows diving. Next, you need to be descend as you would any flying mount by default. If you're riding a flying mount, you can go from flying to diving to descending into water at the proper angle. There are special emotes, water flips, which you can use while underwater. These emotes are indicated by a unique icon. It's like flying, but underwater. Yeah, I know. You're the fancy sub. Which is perfect, because we're underwater. Why can't we take a guild sub down here? A what? The guild submarine. Or free company submarine. You know, that is a good question. This must be Suino Sato, the Ryan Village Horoban told us about. Right then, let's see if they can help they can't help us find the Kojin's missing jewel. Surprise he blows for so it'll drown. Oof. If this is Suino Sato, then Shiosai the overseer should be around here somewhere. I dare say one of the I dare say one of the locals would be able to point us in this direction. Though, now that I look around, I get the distinct impression we are not welcome here. And they're mentioning princesses. Yep, I fucking called it. So, this our man? Leave this place and never return. We have no need of wide-eyed wanderers. Sorry, I didn't mean to stare. My name is Lise, and these are my friends, Green and Alice. I think this would buck me all to heck of their perfectly normal movement but the sound of water in my ears. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I forgot, I forgot if we were able to, like, get off or mount. Or could we just, like, swim through that water? Hmm. Yeah, you can swim through it. Oh. We're looking for the overseer, Suino Sato, Shiosai. That's you, isn't it? The Kojin of the Blue sent you hither, did they? I am no overseer, nor would I ever claim to be one. I am High Priest of Shisui of the Violet Tides, Shiosai. So you are the man we're looking for. Great. We need your help. We're looking for this jewel called the Yasakani no- Stop. I will heal no more. We will suffer no outside troubles in our sanctuary, especially those of would-be treasure hunters. Chirp, chirp. Quiet, Isobe. I like the little... I like Isobe. It's a cute little otter boy. Yeah. Quiet, Isobe, or there'll be no dango for dinner. Ahem. <clears throat> I can do not to aid you. I say to you again, leave this place and never return. At the very least, sir, you might consent you might condescend to tell us of your village and of why you are so loath to show us even the most basic courtesy. Suino Sato is our sanctuary. Under the benevolent leadership of the Ruby Princess, sovereign of Shisui, we Ryan enjoy humble yet fulfilling lives, but it was not always so. Long ago, our forebears were driven from their ancestral lands. Beneath the water, they sought refuge from the ravages of war, and here they flourished. All that we are, our culture, our traditions, was born of the sea, as was I. Though we have engaged others in diplomacy, it has ever been with the utmost caution. Isolation and independence are essential to preserving our way of life. Wow, that sounds familiar. So it was when Doma fell 25 years past. 
The ruby princess in her wisdom decreed that we would take no part. As I was, so ever shall it be. Forever and ever a pot. Forgive me, I understand now how high you how highly you value your way of life, and how you will suffer none to endanger it. You may be assured that we have no desire to do so, and I would hope that we have given you no cause to assume otherwise. You have not, but this change is nothing. Regardless of your intentions, it is not my place to break with tradition. I must consider the wishes of all who call Sui no Sato home. For me to defy their will and permit outsiders to remain would be a gross betrayal of my responsibilities. Please do not ask please do not ask this of me. Thank you for your time, sir. And so it continues. Another village, another deaf ear. Clearly, Girabania is not the only place with walls. I'm starting to wonder if this is all just a huge mistake. Gosetsu couldn't have known it would take this long. I only hope he's still alive. Ooh, cutscene. You didn't notice with me standing around with one? No. Be here, Gosetsu. Ouch. <sighs> I tire of this filthy tavern, and it's still filthier clientele. This scant reward for your treachery, I. A painted woman of your rich experience deserves a better class of customer. Oh, Name-calling. Is that what we've been reduced to? Orphan of the Nayuri. Widow of Sashiai. What joy it must have brought you to be revenged upon us all. I mean, yeah. <laughs> On top of that, this scene. Oh. Where Enix enough. knew exactly what they were doing. Really enough. I like this. Oh, no. My appetite. I think your sense is going to be as just fine. <laughs> Insatiable. Before you die, you will cry and beg and prostrate yourself upon the earth. So next up, she's going to start fucking singing or dancing or something. And the piss and debase yourself for my amusement. Like dancing, because I don't think this game's really big on character singing. Probably not. But you think you are made of sterner stuff? Rather than have him beat you, mayhap I should have my oath go and fetch your master's head. Hey, puns. Oh, oh. Sorry, I was referring to my own uh, dialogue card. Oh, poor, <laughs> poor ahead. Lord Kayan. Kami rest his soul. Noble leader of a fallen nation. A fine puppet he made for the Viceroy. For a time. Twenty-five years he was content to serve his masters as a dog. And then everyone had to rise up and get themselves killed. Tell Who's me. Who's got the worst hair? How did I think it you'll feel see you. to fail him that day? To live with the disgrace of his death? I don't know, I've always been partial to long straight hair. I wish my hair would stay straight. Oh, so that weirdo in the Japanese, uh, like, voice acting, 
Not that Frankly, you were a stranger to living with disagree with the voice for him. So it was very was jarring it? when I heard it 25 on, uh, years since on you were humiliated in that. Imperial Jail. You had plenty of time I think she was talking about Yasuyo. Oh. Oh, yes. I heard the stories. About the samurai weird, who would do anything to return to his master's side, even if it meant pledging his blade to his sworn enemy. They say he walked with it's death, to be an elegant that he slew a thousand men in the Empire's more elegance, name. That's when you add in, Truly like, a tale you know, ringlets and stuff. I do not deny my sins, but I will not be reproached by the likes of you. Oh, I mean not to reproach you, but to praise you. You're a survivor, Samurai. Just like. So, let us not dwell on the past, you and I, and instead give thought to the future. To wit, I would ask you again to help me resolve this vexing matter of Dorma's missing heir. Living or dead, it makes no difference, really. But the Garleans are most insistent that we put this problem behind us. And I know you So what you're saying you. is that you're, so, you're so making some me. word salad. What became of Lord Hien? To my dismay, the details escape me at present. Mayhap your dog could jog my memory. Get on with it, and mark me, brute. There is no limit to how far you can fall. Of all the bloody, stupid... <laughs> When I get back to Eorzea, I'm gonna find that little shite, and I'm gonna make him pay. Yeah. <sighs> no, that's just his hair. We seem to have reached an impasse, and to make matters worse, every solution I can think of will only take more time. I don't suppose you have any ideas, do you, Green? We find some red cogin and encourage them to talk. I did answer that jokingly, and they were receptive. <laughs> the thought of administering a little encouragement does have its appeal, but I would be need, need to be convinced the Red Coaching knew anything before resorting to violence. You're the ones who came from above, yes? Could I have a moment of your time? My apologies. I did not mean to startle you. My name is Ihan Ihanami, and this is my wife, Yunaki. We were wondering, have you any news from Doba? If so, we would like very much to hear it. May I ask why? If you must. Our daughter fought in the rebellion, and we have heard not from her since. It would be too much to hope that you know of her, but her name is Yugiri. Wow, what a coincidence. Hey, you know, just plot convenience. Kami be praised. She lives. She lives. We're looking for her too, actually, but I'm sure she's all right. We had no idea she held from Suino Sato. How did she come to serve Doma as a shinobi? Ah, damn it, I accidentally clicked twice. It all began when she was a little girl. She had another child crept out of the village. Now, oh, hold on text block in my screen. She had an, an another child crept out of the village, having grown curious about the outside world. To the Doma they went, where they met a young boy, a proud son of Yangxia. His tales of imperial oppression left a lasting impression on her. When she returned, she spoke passionately of the Doman's plight and urged us to take the boy in. 
my wife and I would not hear of it. We fought the matter close, but she never forgot his words. She became convinced that the Guardians would one day come for us, and it was in search of strength to defend us as she left, years later to learn the ways of the Shinobi. When the then Ruby Princess learned of this, she forbade Yugiri's return, lest she bring misfortune to us all. We protested the judgement, but there was naught we could do. And so our daughter, who only wanted to keep her people safe. Surely that is something we can do for these people? They who gave her aid and succor when no other would? I am but a humble stonemason, but if it is the Yasakani no Makatama you seek, I may yet be of some assistance to you. The jewel is known to possess an unusual property. To the naked eye, it is as jade, but when bathed in a particular light, it shivers with divine resplendence. I have mined similar materials before. To find them, one must use these lamps. They cast an invisible light under which the stones sparkle. In the deepest depths, they are val invaluable. There is a sunken ship to the east. Though the currents may have spirited away her cargo, you should begin your search there. Thank you so much. We will do just that. We hope you find that which you seek. I only wish there was something more we could do to assist you. Know that you will be in my prayers. And when you next see your daughter, pray tell her not a day goes by that her parents and brothers do not think of her. We will, I promise. If this wreck is the self-same vessel of which Sorovan spoke, and the gods are and if the gods are good, the Magatama is nearby. Ready your lamp and keep your eyes open, Green. We're gonna need to take this slowly. Move too fast and we risk overlooking something. To find the Yasakani no Magatama, you will need to search the area marked on your map. Use your lamp to pinpoint the precise location of the treasure and claim it. I cannot say for certain, you think he glimpsed a flickering light in the distance. Ooh! Right here. Hmm. I'll give that a shot, but I think we're probably in different locations. We'll see. Oh, I guess it is the same for all of us. It right. said in the distance for me. Right, for predictable game mechanics. I swear, looking for a needle in a hang sack would be quicker. Gosetsu will have died of old age by the time we finish. You haven't found anything, have you, Green? Yasakani no Magatama. At least you think it's Ma Yasakani no Magatama. Not that you know what, for certain what it would look like. This... This is it! The Yasakani no Magatama, exactly as Soroban described! It would seem that our fortunes have finally changed for the better. Okay, well, now that you've said that, it's gonna get worse. Alright, we have Palace of the Lost Souls turn in, then the other one. Yep. Much as I would like to return and thank Yugi's parents for their assistance, time is of the essence. I see we make for Tamamizu at once. Hold on to him for now, Green. Once we arrive, present it to the Elder. Then we can finally learn how to deal with the Red Cojin. You are returned, and with the Yasakani no Magatama, I trust. Sacred treasure of the Kojin, this jewel is highly coveted by the Beastmen and Kami alike. Yes, there is no mistake. Well done. Well done. 
So, about the red coaching. You said it was a raid to make them retreat into their shells. Are you ready to tell us now? Indeed, indeed. And yes, I am. For you see, divinity resides not only in material vessels, but in individuals. In laying claim to this most sacred of treasures, you have demonstrated an affinity with the divine. To treat with men and women such as you is to invite fortune into our homes. Gladly will we aid your cause. As all is ready, Soravan, then give them what they require. This is a ceremonial knife of some sort. Before this blade, with that which steel shall open, the treasure vault of the Kojin on the Isle of Zeki. It is there that our most prized relics, be they of red or the blue, are kept safe. Fiercely do the Red Garden, for its contents are more precious than their lives. Were the vault to be attacked, their response will be ne by necessity be immediate. Kojin would be summoned from mounds around to defend their treasures. And were we to sow enough chaos, the Reds in service to the Imperials would have no choice but to answer the call as well. Giving the Confederacy the sign they've been waiting for. Without the Kojin, the Imperials don't nearly have enough troops in the sorry to hold off pirates. What's Peter doing in the background? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, he's probably streaming himself if he goes in the work. Oh, no. Hopefully the kids don't get upset because they're in here with me. However... You must understand that the vault is holy ground, home Hello, to a thousand Virtual thousand kami. To intrude upon it without paying the proper respects is a sacrilege we cannot condone. You're asking if you're Kier. I am Kier. Well, there you go. So, so if we were to pay the proper respects, it would be all right? Great! How do we do that again? The Yasakani no Magatama is one of the three most coveted treasures of the Kojin. The other two lie within the vault. It's a sword and a mirror, isn't it? <laughs> were you to deliver the jewel onto the others, and thereby make them whole, Kami may forgive your trespass and instead delight in your... mischief-making. So, if I understand you correctly, you want us to take the sacred jewel covered by a red brothers and deliver it to the treasure vault. More or less, the Yasakani no Magatama belongs on the Isle of Zeki. So long as it finds its way there, we are satisfied. The Magatama has chosen you to bear it to its brothers. Had it not, you would never have found it, and we would not be having this conversation. So who are you, virtual bakery manager? Do you manage a virtual bakery? I shall inform the Confederacy of your plans and bid them to make ready to act when the time is right. The Isle of Zeki lies to the west of Sui no Sato. Look for a cave beneath the waters. May fortune favor you in this and all other endeavors. Right then, I'm not normally in the habit of sneaking into heavily guarded treasure vaults, but if this is a way to convince the Confederacy act, then so be it. We should be prepared for a fight. The bigger, the better. The kind where you'll wish you had seven of your most battle-hardened friends at your side. It's going to be a raid. Yep. I don't know about you two, but I'm ready as I'll ever be. Me too. Let's do this. Right, right. Not left to say, then. To the Isle of Zeki. <laughs> right. Let's go find that cave.
Assuming this is the right ga Wait, how are we talking underwater? We should be should we just be speaking in gurgles. Magic. It doesn't make sense. Telepathy. So no, they're actually moving their mouths, so... Maybe I have to speak while Echo drinking... Echo location! <laughs> Maybe I have to speak while drinking water? That's not gonna work. That's not gonna work. Assuming this is the right cave, did you read a statement to the of the Isle of Zeki? Have you got a plan for once we get to the Isle? Hmm. How about the two of us go get the guards' attention while the third heads straight for the vault? Afterwards, the other two join them here, and together we make a stand. With our number, it is not feasible to do anything more complicated, I think. Fine by me. I like simple plans. I'll be one of the decoys then. You read my mind. I had also had a mind to ask Green to be one, given his peerless martial prowess. Then it's settled. You two will make your way through the stronghold, creating as much chaos as possible. You know, have some fun. Meanwhile, I will attend to locate the vault and gain entry with the ceremonial life. While I'm inside, I will contact you via Link Pearl. Right, come on, Green. Got work to do. You're a cypher, so eyes. Hope the Alexei's are right, too. Ooh, Link Pearl. Green, please. Can you hear me? I found the vault. Head northwest. There's a passage leading deeper within. Hurry. You know, the downside of being uh, at level with the mobs in the area, you can't they just all run. attack you. Yeah. No. It's definitely weird being a noob again to the area. I mean, noob mm -hmm. to the area. I'm used to being the noob. There you are. The entrance is straight ahead. Good timing, I might add. Sounds like the whole garrison is headed straight for us. Thieves! Thieves! Come to steal our most precious treasures! You will pay for this sacrilege! That's the spirit! Now don't be shy. I'm more than ready for another round. Seize them! Drums. What in the world? I hope this boss battle music has a shamisen in it. Soul. Hark! A great Kami stirs. Yes, yes. A great Kami of the sacred treasures. Oh, great Kami. Two round we objects and your one intercession. long one. We who have guarded your blade and glass for generations. Your faithful Kojin. Thou didst freely deliver our jewel unto thine enemy's own treasure vault? <laughs> How auspicious we do commend thee, son of man. Such audacity is deserving of celebration, exaltation, a contest of wills to mark the occasion. Let lines be drawn, let sides be chosen, and for their loyalty we shall stand with the caretakers of our greater part. Oh, perfect. A contest of wills, just what we need. 
<laughs> Hearken to us, shelled ones. Upon this day, your wish shall be granted. Oh no, this is, does this technically count as a primal summoning? <laughs> Curse neither your fate nor its executor, we'll see if children it's an of man, actual god or not. for we are of the divine, of both heaven and earth. The ringing silence, the raging calm. All riseth and falleth at the whim of capricious fortune. Assume your marks upon the stage and embrace the coming chaos. If it's almost a giant turtle. I think it's done with that plot line, though. Huh. We are Susano, and in sure revelry do we rejoice. Oh. Yeah, I think it's. It just told us its name, Kira. Come on. Yeah, I see it on your screen. That's a primal so, uh, in front of us, right? Oh god. Yeah, it's I guess we just need to get Amaterasu to go kick its ass. <laughs> and a horde of angry Kojin at our backs. But, I mean, oh, this, this contest is getting worse for the course of this personality. Lise, help me clear also, a path. Also, isn't he, like, a Korean god, too? What is? Like, not... Susano, like, not from Korea, but, like, the Japanese think of him as a Korean god. I'm not if sure. I, remember correctly. I haven't heard of that one. But I guess that's more of a Japanese question than a Korean one. Yeah. Leave them to us and save your strength. You'll be needing it soon enough. Talk to the hand. Make I mean, way! That's basically Make way! Lisa in the <laughs> shell. <laughs> Pretty much, monks. Spoil not your appetite for the feast, children of man. The dish will be served whether you will it or no. <laughs> I am liking the music so far. Is it because there's shamisen? No, there's no shamisen. Oh. But I do really like the sound of shamisen. That... that was not part of the plan. A cogent primal was most definitely not part of the plan. Though I am sure there is a perfectly logical explanation involving the Aether sword into treasures and the religious fervor with which the cogent guard them. Or something. Uh, pity Alphinode isn't here to provide it. And just when I thought our fortunes had changed, I swear Soroban and his people knew this might happen. No. Somehow I doubt that, even the Red seems surprised by what happened. All rises and falls at the whim of capricious fortune, does it? And the same goes for him. We have to defeat that primal. Alice may not have the best plan, but she has the only one. As before, our numbers limit our options. I wish we could claim to have a brilliant plan, but I don't. All I have is a desperate one. Lise, you and I will do our best to draw the Cochin away from the Primal. We'll lead them on a wild dodo chase over all over this isle. The rest of the plan I'm afraid you can guess. I'm sorry, Green, I truly am. But neither of us can even approach Susano, much less hope to defeat him, which means you're on your own. Well, who knows? He does have an awful lot of adventure friends. Maybe Susano will decide to take a fishing trip to the Far East and are surprisingly close by? Yeah, like this one right here. <laughs> yes, and I speak fluent Hingen. Come on, there's no point in putting this off. Pool of Tribute, now accessible. 
Oh, well, I wasn't expecting that. I guess this is a better thing. Ready when you are. Give me a second. God, I, my gears. I have, I have to have my glam, you know? <laughs> my gears yeah, just all the over right the place. Alright, so that's a trial pool of tribute. You ready? Yep. Jesus, that's fast. <laughs> Even, I like, I know I'm white mage, but still. Yeah, considering it's eight people. Yeah, exactly. So that means we needed two tanks and one other healer. Maybe this is a really popular one? Maybe. Let's hope the summoning scene is faster this time. I guess that was a one-hit KO or something? No, I got hit by like three different ones at the same time. Oh. Uh. Stack. Stagger because I died. The seas part for we alone. Yeah, I know. Well, now I'm at seven. To phase two. Wild and 
special ability on that? I'm sure. It looks like the tank was holding up the entire sword. No, no, I think it might be just a mechanic thing? Yeah. Uh, I think, and I'm Regime not sure if the tank switch was necessary. But they did do that. I'm gonna guess it was necessary. second at the worst possible time. Such ferocity. Okay, that is finally maybe a shamisen, but it's not uh, pro play. Earth and stone at our beck and call! <laughs> ah, there we go. Oh, oops, I did type for O oh, into the party, I'm great. <laughs> everyone left. No. And I got two commendations and a bunch of items that need material extraction. Neat. Meanwhile, the coast of Hothard. Nary a peep from the shellback, sir. It's enough to make one wonder. The Red have sounded the alarm. The Isle of Zeki under attack. Fierce fighting in the stronghold. The vault breached by outsiders and strange tales from deep within. 
All this the Red cannot ignore. Even now, they abandon their posts and flock to the Isle. The Garleans are powerless to stop them. I'll be damned they did it. Well, Captain, wages notwithstanding, I dare say we will not have a better opportunity to drive the Imperials from Asari and rescue our men. On the other hand, naught was put in writing. But if your mind is made up, then that is that. I should add that if you were to change your mind, none would gainsay your decision, nor think you beholden to your past. Nor would anyone begrudge you a spot of revenge into the bargain. Like the Little Miss said, we knew this day would come. Isari may be a rotting husk, but at least the tavern keeper never watered down his drinks. Well said for a temperate man. I don't think that hair is supposed to clip through the mask. I don't think so either. Hear me, comrades! We made a bargain with the Aeorsians, and I mean to uphold our end of it. They never fix. I mean to remind the Guardians the that this is our scene, me nuts. that all here belongs to the Confederacy. All that is theirs is ours for the taking, and take it we shall. We will strip them of everything they hold dear. This cutscene is definitely better in English. Really? They're not very emotional at all. They're very bland Got it. in the Japanese. This one is iron. My hands will break before he speaks. Oh, come, he give me strength. Are you good at anything? It, it kind of sounds like they had a volume cap with recording. I had hoped even though this that's might not have voice productive and blind inquiries, but I see you are determined to waste my time. Very well. Line them up. Kill one for every question he refuses to answer. Hurt them, and you will get naught from me. You have given me precisely that thus far, so what have I to lose? Mark me, Samurai. I will find Lord here, be it with your help or with your heads. Come, you will pay for the ah! Confederacy. They've come to save us. <sighs> and this after I took such pains to cow them. Even pirates have their pride, I suppose. Enough to march to their deaths, no less. Ah, oh, the stupidity of it all. It truly is a sickness. I shall just have to lance the boil. Drain them of every last trace of honor and compassion. Every last drop. My lady, I... I'm going outside.
Kami are not finished with you yet. To them they just keep coming then we must be doing something right we have to hold out for as long as we can he's counting on us oh. Suzolo is slain slain by the shellless one Did you defeat him? Well, in that case, how do you fancy helping us keep the Kojin occupied until the Confederacy make their move? Speak of the Devils, that's coming from Isari. I think we've done all we can here. Let's withdraw and make for the village. Right. Although, they don't seem keen to let us go. Hear me, Kojin of the Red. We have no quarrel with you. you Only your morning. Imperial Masters. I'm sorry? I'm sorry, so they give us a long cutscene warning. Hmm. No more blood need be shed this day. I pray you let us go in peace. You dare speak to us of peace? Your flesh will feed the fishes, thief! Attack! Now's our chance. Don't worry about her, she can handle herself. I can't let you take all the glory, can I? Oops, why did I pick Dragoon for this? Ah oh, well. I think we're safe. Didn't see any Kojin following us. Wait here, I'm going back for Alice. I'm coming with you. No, absolutely not. She stayed behind so that you could escape. Even I know that. I was the one who dragged you all, all into this. It was my fight, not yours. I knew that from the start, but I also knew I couldn't do it alone. But I've asked too much and let too much happen to you all. I have to make this right. And I have to do it on my own. So let me go, please. I'm asking you as a friend. I have to help her. You can start by finding me a towel and some bandages. <laughs> Alice! Said, uh, not burr. I'm sorry? I thought you said, uh, not burr, and I was very confused. Oh, sorry. No, don't apologize. Too late. What? Why are you looking at me like that? I said I was going to distract and not make a heroic and ultimately futile last stand. Who does that anyway? couple of people. Yeah. Oh, for the love of... This is stupid. You're embarrassing yourself. And me. Shut up and let me have this. Huh. 
Right, that wasn't so bad, was it? Now then, we need to hurry back to Isari. I assume it's a cutscene. Oh, no. Probably not. Let's see which of these do I want. This one's probably worth the most. I don't see any soldiers. Do you think the Confederacy drove them off? Lise is not sure what to make of Isari. Something definitely happened here. I see several people who look like they might be injured. Let's give them a hand and find out what we missed. Do I need help? Oh, I'll be fine. It's nothing that won't heal. You should go after Lise. I remember you. You're the one who saved me from doman catchers. Thanks to you, we managed to rescue the fishermen and my kidnapped comrades. One of which, uh, one of whom joined a confederacy with me long ago. Would have broken my heart to have it, to have it bury him. But if you're looking for the captain, you'll find him in the tavern. Ah! Oh. You're not an Imperial. Is, is it over? God me be praised. I was certain she would have us all killed and burn Isari to the ground, or kill us making, after making us watch, or barricade us in our homes before putting them to the torch. Thank you, my child. When the fighting started, I tried to run and hide, but fell and could not regain my feet. I thought for sure we would all be slaughtered, but the pirates drove them off. I never thought I'd see the day when the Confederacy came to our aid. Back already? What have you learned? At the tavern, you say? In that case, we should find Lise and speak to him together. My Eorzean friends, saw the smoke, did you? A pity you did not come sooner, though I gather you were busy elsewhere. Gazetsu, you're alive. You're all alive. And full of vim and vigor. <laughs> did I not tell you I was no stranger to chains? The fighting cannot have lasted long. Where are all the Imperials? Fled. They stood their ground for a time, until it became clear that their Corjian reinforcements would not be coming. We took some few casualties, but my deeper regret is having let Yotsuyu slip through my fingers. That bodyguard of hers may be a halfwit, but he's a mean bastard on the battlefield. In any event, I imagine all involved are satisfied with this outcome. So far as the Empire is concerned, the Confederacy attacked Asari in retaliation for the Viceroy's actions. And without the aid of insurrectionists, I might add. Suffice it to say, we are prepared to be the subject of their undivided attention for the foreseeable future. Don't do anything reckless. Nor you. Our fates are intertwined now. If you fall, so do we. Your assistance would be most welcome. Nevertheless, we shall do our utmost to spare you undue danger. We are already in your debt. Nay, little miss, all debts are paid. For by your deeds, many still live who elsewise would not. Let both parties count their blessings, and may fortune continue to favor us all. You still seek to bring freedom to our people, then? You will go to Yansha? 
I have faith that our allies yet live. Once we have found them, we will plan our next step. Yansha was the crucible of the rebellion. What happened here pales in comparison to what Yotsuyo did there. Remember this. Fear changes men. Have care in whom you place your trust. And with that, we must take our wounded home. Oh, your shellback friend sends his regards and looks forward to your next meeting. Try not to die before then, eh? You done a well, Green. Were it not for the tremendous strength and the bravery of you and yours, many innocent souls would have suffered terrible fates. Though I knew the Confederacy would be loath to meet the Imperials in battle, I also knew that if any could win them over, it would be you. Truly, yours is a heroic spirit that inspires men to rise above their circumstances, to strive for something greater. It will be an honor to travel with you again. Now then, let us not squander the Confederacy's gift. Yangxia and my countrymen await. There is a tunnel to the southwest. We need but follow it to reach our destination. With me. And new place unlocked. Yangxia. Yep. There's one. Two. Three, Meanwhile, on the show's the four, old card. five, and six more locations in Stormblood. Yep. We cannot rest here for long. This place is not safe. Mayhap no worries, if thieves can breach our vaults. Nevertheless, it is our duty to protect these treasures, and we shall not fail for want of effort. So, this is why you abandoned your posts, and without a word of explanation at that. Rather thoughtless of you, was it not? Lady Yotsuyo, Pray forgive us our absence, but our home was under attack, our vaults plundered by outsiders. Did you even pause to consider the possibility that it might be a diversion? What is the point of contracting your services if you are not here when they are required? It is my solemn charge to bring these vermin to heal. To torment them, body and soul, until all they hold dear is as bitter ashes in their mouths. And then you go and ruin everything! Why are you yelling at me? Well, there's no to be gained in belaboring the point. All that remains is to administer your punishment. Wait, my lady! No. No, it's no good. There's just no joy in it. Release. There, there needs to be some investment. There were negligent imbeciles deserving of punishment, but it was hardly personal. 
Ten thousand such cordon could not satisfy me half so well as a single dollar. One of the vaunted treasures of the Red? The craftsmanship is certainly impressive. Mayhap we can use it to make amends. How long before Lord Xenos reinstates me, do you reckon? I've got unfinished business back in Aeorzea. Serving me well, might as well meet her. Sassica. At least pretend Sassica to enjoy says, you this lady lump. again. Yeah, I was just waiting yeah, for the cutscene to finish. Oh. If you are so desperate to earn a way back to Eorzea, then be quiet and do as you're told. And bring that sword while you're at it. But to answer the question, uh, we've only seen her from a distance, but never physically met her in person. <laughs> 